Hello everyone, I'm back with another PC build. Today I'll be showing you what kind of system you can put together for about $700 and what kind of gaming performance that will get you. If you saw my $600 build video I put up last month, this build is pretty much identical to it with the exception that it comes with an upgraded graphics card. The extra $100 in this budget allowed me to bump up from the RX 590 in the $600 build to an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti in this build and the performance gain was pretty solid all around. For the full part list in the system, I went with a Ryzen 5 2600 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 480 gigabyte SSD, MSI's B450A Pro motherboard, and Cougar's MX330G tempered glass case. And again, for the GPU, I went with a GTX 1660Ti, and more specifically, Zotax Amp Edition GTX 1660Ti. There was also enough room in the budget to bump up from the non-modular EVGA 600 watt BR power supply to Corsair's CXM 650 watt semi-modular power supply. Right now, I believe the difference between the two units is about 10 bucks, and really, the semi-modularity didn't make a huge difference in the build process. So if you wanted to save a little bit of money, you could definitely stick with the EVGA 600 watt unit I used in the $600 build, or shop around to see if there's anything less expensive. The build process for this system is very straightforward, and rather than disassemble the $600 build I put up last month, I just kept all the parts together and I swapped out the graphics card. So if you've seen the build video from the $600 PC already, this is going to look pretty much identical because I just used the same footage with the exception for the graphics card installation. If you haven't seen that video though, here's a quick look at what the build process for this system looks like.
Just like with the last two builds, I benchmarked this system on a 1080p monitor in Borderlands 3, PUBG, Fortnite, The Witcher 3, Rocket League, Apex Legends, Overwatch, and League of Legends. And ultimately, the upgrade to the GTX 1660 Ti gave this system a pretty solid jump in performance over the RX 590 found in the $600 build. In Borderlands 3, the PC was able to average 79 frames per second on ultra settings, and it maintained an average of 91 frames per second when dropping down to higher settings. With the GTX 1660 Ti in it, this $700 build was even able to handle Borderlands 3 on its more extreme badass settings. For my $500 and $600 builds, which had an RX 580 and RX 590 in them, neither system was able to average a frame rate of over 50 frames per second at the higher badass settings that Borderlands 3 offers. For PUBG, this system was able to average 82 frames per second on ultra settings and just over 100 frames per second when dropping down to higher settings. In The Witcher 3, with Nvidia's hair works turned off, I saw an average of 88 frames per second on ultra settings and about 115 frames per second on higher settings. In Fortnite, this system averaged about 113 frames per second on epic settings and 151 frames per second on higher settings. In games like Apex Legends, Overwatch, League of Legends, and Rocket League, this system had no problems. It averaged 114 frames per second on Ultra settings in Apex Legends, 160 frames per second in Overwatch, 195 frames per second in League of Legends, and it got right at the cap in Rocket League, averaging about 247 frames per second. So the bottom line with this build is that 1080p gaming is no problem for it. And I kind of wish that I did have a 1440p display to test it out on, but I do think 1080p is the perfect resolution for this build, but it should definitely be paired with a 1080p display that has a higher refresh rate to take full advantage of the performance it offers. For anyone who is interested in an Intel-based build, I should also note that I did pick up an Intel Core i5-9400F processor and an H310 motherboard, and in my next video I'm going to benchmark the 9400F against the Ryzen 5 2600 to see if there is a significant performance advantage for the 9400F, and if so, whether or not that performance advantage is worth the extra cost that the 9400F comes with. But overall, for just $100 more than the $600 build I put together last month, the upgraded graphics card in this system provides about a 15-20% to gain in performance. In some non-demanding games like Rocket League, League of Legends, and Overwatch, the gain won't be that significant in the grand scheme of things. But in more demanding titles like Borderlands 3 and The Witcher 3, that performance gain takes you from hitting just over 60 frames per second on ultra settings to getting nearly 80 frames per second. And I think that is a major jump, especially for gamers who enjoy games that are built around having stunning graphics. Of course, in competitive titles like Fortnite and PUBG, if you're playing the game seriously, you're probably not going to be playing the game at ultra settings. Still though, the extra performance that the GTX 1660 Ti offers will play nicely with a high refresh rate monitor to give you as smooth of an in-game experience as possible, which will hopefully help you perform better in those titles. If you're interested in building this gaming PC, I've included links to all of the components on Amazon in the description below. Those are affiliate links, and if you do purchase through my links, just note that I will earn a commission. I do also update this build more frequently on my website, so if some of the parts are out of stock, go to techguided.com and check out our $700 PC build guide. If you have any questions on this PC build or on how to build a PC in general, post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And if you're building your first computer, good luck to you. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.